everybody, thanks for joining. If you're new here, my name is Eva and I'm getting ready for the new year. Just a few minutes ago, I was taking down my Christmas decorations when the FedEx truck stopped by. So of course, <laughs> I had to, you know, stop everything I was doing and peek into that box. Then I got myself a little bit together anyway uh, and cleaned up around here so that I could film this video because I was very anxious to see myself and also anxious to show you the new bag that I got from Portland Leather Goods. And this is the Rainstorm. If you're thinking about this bag, I thought you might be interested to see how it compares to the Rain Drop. So obviously the Rainstorm is a little bit bigger. The Rain Drop is a little bit smaller. I got the Rainstorm in the color Aqua. I mean, I think it's a really uh, pretty color, but to me, I was researching which leathers were more structured because I noticed that on my uh, Rain Drop, which by the way is in Cinnamon Bear, that these handles were uh, rolled and pretty heavy. So I wanted the bag to have some structure to support the handles, especially when it would be bigger. So as you can see from the visual that I'm putting up here, PLG does a great job on their website of describing the kind of leather that you're gonna get in terms of the texture, whether it's pebbled or smooth, and also in terms of the firmness or what I would consider the structure. And this aqua color was rated quite high on the firmness versus slouchiness, and so that's why I went for this one. Right now the bag is empty, there's nothing in it, and it is holding its shape very well. When I let go of the top, it doesn't sag or droop or anything yet anyway. It might with age, but right now it's really, nice and structured. So the main characteristics of this little tote is that it has these rolled handles. And so these handles are much more firm, you know, significantly different in my opinion than their other bags. Like for example, this is Lola. And as you can see, it has flat handles. They're both really comfortable, but these handles are really different. This rolled handle really gives it a different experience because they're always standing up as opposed to the other bags where the handles flop over. So I mean, that's not a huge deal, but it is definitely something to notice in terms of when you're comparing this bag to the other bags that PLG has made before. And before I go on, I just wanna make sure that you get a full view around the bag and see how it's put together and that it does have a flat base like this. So the main difference that I've seen between the Rainstorm and the Raindrop is that not only, you know, it's a little bit bigger, but here on the inside, there is an internal pocket. So you can see I'm putting my hand on there. It's just about the size of the palm of my hand. And this pocket is loose, meaning it's not sewn down. You can lift it up if you wanted to. But anyway, it is kind of like free floating in the bag. So that's the main difference that I see, you know, between the two. It's just a little bit bigger in every direction, but the handles are the same. And this is a visual from the website comparing the sizes of the Rainstorm and the Raindrop. And it does have the same placement for this strap. So the D-ring for the strap is right here inside the bag, just like on the Raindrop. It's right here inside the bag. I'm gonna show you this bag in comparison with all of the other Portland Leather Goods bags that I have. So they are lined up against a flat surface so that you can see the differences of length. Okay, starting on the left, this is the medium crossbody in the color hibiscus. This is the Lola Tote in Nutmeg, the smaller version, and then the Rainstorm in Aqua, and then the Mini Crossbody in Setsuma, and then the Raindrop in Cinnamon Bear. And then hopefully from this angle you can see the differences in height. The Rainstorm and Lola are pretty much the same height. In case you're curious as to what fits in this bag, here's how I've got it packed up. And it really does fit quite a bit. And it's so easy, you know, because it's an open toad, it's so easy to get in there and see your things. So I slid my phone down in this back pocket and I think that's a really nice feature. That way I won't have to like dig around and look for my phone in my bag. So I think that's gonna be a good place for the phone. Got a pack of gum. This is a little long shank pouch. I'm, it's holding my keys and a lip gloss right now. I'm using this little PLG pouch for medications. I think this is called the Daisy Wallet. And then I'm just turning it around here so I can get to the front of the bag. I've got a pack of wet ones. I've got a long wallet to show you that if you like using a long wallet, it definitely has room for that. I've got a little mini pochette packed up. So if you use a little catch-all for the other little things in your bag, then there's plenty of room for something like this or the no Coach Nolita or any other kind of pouch. I've got my glasses case in here for my readers and sunglasses and also a little pouch that I use for pens. 
And there's also plenty enough room for this little notebook. So if you like to carry an agenda or something around with you, then it would fit in here as well. And I forgot to mention that it has a magnetic snap closure. I'm guessing here in the near future, they will be releasing this bag with the zipper option as well. And now I've attached the strap and it is in the middle setting for the length. And this is what that looks like on me. And so now that I have it on crossbody, I feel a little bit of that size difference, but it's still comfortable, it's still manageable, it's still easy to get on and off because of these handles. So I think it's a really good kind of a medium size bag, a medium small size bag, let's put it that way. While I was on the website ordering the Rainstorm bag, I picked up a few other things that I thought were fun. I want to show you now. This is the Tote keychain in the color Sweet Pea. These come with a clip that you could attach inside a bag or on the outside as a charm. And this is the other one that I got. This is a teeny tiny triangle bag here. You can see the shape of the triangle on the side of it. And it also has a little external pocket. They stay together here by this little knob that you push through the leather like that. And the name of this, it starts with a B and I've forgotten it, so I'll have to write it on the screen below. And then I picked up this wallet because I was anxious to try it to see how it was designed. This is the small Bozeman wallet in the color Foxglove. This leather is so soft. I really love the feel of this leather. And I like the color as well, I think it's really pretty. So in case you're interested in the design of this, I filled it full of gift cards just to see how it looks, how it's designed. So this is how it looks when you first open it up, then I'll turn around so you can see the opposite view of it. There are two card slots here in the front, and then there's an open compartment, and I've got five gift cards in here. Now because it has gussets, you can't really use gift cards all the way in this area because it does have to have some room to close. There are also two card slots built in and then there's like an extra back pocket and I've got two cards back there as well. This cash fits very well when it's folded up. So there's, there's room for cash here if you want to fold it. And I'll also put a few more gift cards in here. There's four in this compartment. So that's a total of 15 gift cards that I have in there right now. I don't know if you would actually need to carry that many around with you, just in case I packed it up that, that full to see. So because this leather is so thick and because I've got it full of <laughs> 15 gift cards, it's not the most compact wallet, but it still is manageable in terms of size for a small wallet. So I just wanted to give you some information about that. So thanks for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed, now would be a great chance to do that because I really enjoy buying bags for myself, but then I also love sharing what I've learned about the bags and how they compare to other bags. So if it's fun for you to watch those kinds of videos, then I really think you should subscribe because there will be more to come. All right, well, you take care and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.